so these kids are from high school from five minutes down the road for me five to ten minutes down the road for me this is a crazy situation let's check this out learning chilling new details about a teen murder plot three high school students are accused of luring and then killing their own classmate local 10 news reporter leanne morajon is live in miramar with this just released evidence leanne yeah, in these documents, you can see that police have text messages between the teens, surveillance video placing them at the scene of the crime, and other evidence that really pins this crime on them. We know that they appeared before a juvenile court judge over the weekend. They will be behind bars until their next court date. 17-year-old Andre Clemens, 17-year-old Christy Parisian, and 16-year-old Jaslyn Smith are accused of murder, tampering with evidence, and... 18 year old Dwight DJ Grant was found murdered in the apartment complex where he lived and documents are shedding light on how he died and the motive behind it. Police say Clemens was angry because Grant had sex with his ex-girlfriend. On October 11th, he texted his current girlfriend, Christy Parisienne, and murder will definitely happen soon. It went on, Christy, I would help you, but you becoming a murderer right now isn't what is needed. Andre, it's happening by Hoko or homecoming. Christy, oh, see that I can help with. Andre, I, this Sunday or next, you choose. Text also show Parisian lured Grant with the promise of sex only for Clements and his friend Jaslyn Smith to ambush him. Surveillance footage captured the three throughout the victim's apartment complex. Police say Clements stabbed Grant in the neck with a knife, then in the chest with a sword, while Smith held him down, all as Parisian acted as a lookout. The group then allegedly Trying tried cleaning up and burning clothing and evidence to hide their crime. I was like friends with Andre. Destiny Bell is senior class president at Miramar High, where the victim and suspects went to school. I mean, the whole situation is sad. Just like growing up with everybody from elementary school and then seeing stuff. And the documents also show that Smith and Parisian gave details of what they did to police during an interview. Clemens asked for an attorney. We know that a vigil is set for tomorrow at the uh, Park Towers apartment where the murder took place. That, of course, is where the victim lived and later died. Reporting live in Miramar, Leanne Moreja, Local 10 News. The disturbing and incriminating evidence. That is sick, man. I'm just trying to soak this in right now. Cause this is really like literally five, ten minutes away from me. Like it's right up the street. Sherman Circle is a little, little further where it actually happened, but the high school is really right up the street from me. So this is fucking crazy that, you know, things like this hit home. Cause you never know. Like I've been a child before. I've done what the, the guy that got killed before. I've done those things before. And I think for someone to be so sick in the plan to murder you over something so simple. I just made a video telling dudes not to sleep with no man's girl because you could end up in situations like this. I just made a video about that. And here we go. And we don't even know, like, this dude was in a whole new relationship, allegedly. A whole new relationship. You cannot control these women. Fellas, you cannot control these women. No matter how much you want to, you cannot control them. It may be hard for you. It may be a shot to your pride that no matter what you do, no matter what you try to leverage, they're going to do what the fuck they want to do. And the last thing you want to do is from them making whatever decision they do, they make with their lives, it affects yours. To the point that it's life or death or locked up behind bars forever. For, far as from what I know, these kids are going to be charged as adults. That's three people. That's four lives possibly lost because of this, this one little situation. That's stupid as hell. And you know what that one little girl, the little girlfriend of? She's just cool. She's just crying, bawling her eyes out. But her life goes on. You cannot control what they do. It's so many situations I'm seeing over and over and over again on the internet. It's so many situations of men being overly aggressive, trying to control the way women react to them. 
as far as like if they like them and stuff like that they are they going to let them talk to them and shit like that bro you can't control these hoes leave them be bro get the ones that fuck with you they it's chicks out here that's gonna fuck with you if not make yourself better so they do and you can it's possible it's so many different examples of ways to make yourself better, bro. But the last thing you want to do is lose your life over one chick. Especially what this nigga 16, 17, I don't know what. Bro, it's so much more life to live. It's so much more life to live. But you took four. Four lives are, are affected from your stupid actions based on how you felt about one little piss tail little girl. These families, that's not even just fourth lives. The family members, the mothers, the fathers, the cousins, the aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews that, that's that's going to be affected by this shit right here. For your emotions over one little piss tail little girl. Probably don't even know how to clean herself right. You don't even know what the fuck love is yet, bro. It's so much more life to live, man. I've been there before. Fucked up in the mind about some stupid ass chick that did not deserve no attention, no emotions, no nothing from me. I know how it feels to not know what's ahead and not to see further and just see black. I know how it feels. But sooner or later, you're going to see the light. You're going to see life after that person. Sooner or later, you're going to see it. But you got to sit there and suck that shit up. Get all that bitch ass emotions out the fuck out of you. Suck that shit up and look forward because it's coming. Your, your breakthrough is coming. Whatever you need to get over that situation is coming. But you got to persevere. You got to stand in the paint and feel how you feel and go through it and learn that everything you go through just make you a better person, make you a better man. But the last thing you do is let someone have that much control over you. You sitting there trying to control her, but really she has control over you to make you do some stupid ass shit in this manner. Don't you ever, ever, ever let no one control your logic in this way. Ever, man. They ain't worth that. They ain't worth your life. They ain't worth nobody else's life. They damn sure ain't worth for her. I don't know what we could do and why scale things to affect this to make sure our children aren't going through these things but all we can do is just like you know hopefully i did what i could a sparking conversation to talk to y'all y'all homies or the young dudes around your neighborhood or whatever like how they should operate when it comes to these women you can't control them don't risk your freedom your life over them Understand their nature. Let them move how they move. And you move accordingly as well. This is a sad situation. It's a sad situation. <sighs> it's your boy Stacey and I fuck with you. Wow. I can't even do my damn outro, man. I just got to end this video.